Hey, Tubes. John Strong here, Truth in the Budget. So real quick, um, people don't seem to understand that, um, that space isn't a thing. It's, it's, not, it's not real. Um, let me explain a few things to you real quick. Uh, right off the bat, within a vacuum, you cannot produce thrust or combustion. You need oxygen in order to burn anything. And uh, in order to create thrust, you need something to push off of. So you you could be you be blasting as much energy out your back as you want if there's nothing to push off of, such as a solid surface or an atmosphere, which like you know you could move your hand around, you feel air, um, because we're within an atmosphere. Um, you need one in order to generate thrust. So you wouldn't as if if there was such a thing as space. As soon as you escaped the the Earth's um, um, gravitational field, you would just be you know floating around without any way to uh, control yourself. And as far as travel goes, if everything's spinning, and everything's spinning, and everything's moving, and everything's expanding, and everything's spinning and moving and spinning, and you're you 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 want to travel like you know thousands, you know hundreds of thousands of you know like millions of miles. Um, you can't calculate that. It's impossible. <clears throat> that much movement, as far as, you know, and, and with how far you're traveling, if you're off by a, from starting point, if you're off from a centimeter to the left, and you're traveling one million miles, or like, however, you know, whatever fake number they give, um, that small increment is going to, in, in a three-dimensional space, is going to expand exponentially. It's going to be, you're going to be off by such an insane amount, and you would have no way to navigate. Because it's a three-dimensional space. There's nothing, there's no landmarks. If everything's spinning and everything's moving and everything's expanding, you can't, you can't landmark anything. Space travel is not only physically impossible, it's logistically impossible, and it's navigationally impossible. These are just, ba like, you can't, you, these are just basic facts. You can't, you know, you want to talk about, you know, like, how er everything NASA puts out is clearly fake, how everything they, they do is clearly fake whenever they have any of the footage in space. You never see any satellites there's supposed to be 50,000 satellites up there. You never see one. They just had this thing with that stupid car floating around in space, whatever. You don't see one satellite, and you never see a star either. It's all nonsense. Um, and it falls apart under basic, basic, basic physics. So space isn't a place. There's, it's like... It's 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 a dead topic. Where there's there's not you know the there's there's lights in the sky the the stars clearly move around us the the sun creates hot spots. You see the sun's rays come out at an angle. You see the moon generates its own light. You know. You can get you can you can you can take a nice camera like a like a like a like a Nikon P P nine hundred, and look at the planets and see that there are lights in the sky. And not things you like with just 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 a camera. So you know, it's it's I don't understand how this stuff is still up for debate, especially I mean like especially amongst us. Um. You know, I don't, I don't understand why you would trust an organization 100% funded by the government. If you don't trust the government. You know what I'm saying? Doesn't, doesn't really add up, does it? You, you don't trust the government or the military, but you trust NASA? You know? Anyway, um... Dead topic. Um, love you guys. Have a beautiful night and God bless you.